Welcome one and all. Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. Going to talk Kevin John Armour. Armour. That's it. Armour. That's the name of this knife. A r m o u r that's what they put on the blade check this out i always love the sellers and this is the seller i got it from a r m o u <laughs> come on man really can't spell your own knife here we go so i'm thinking o u r is the correct spelling since that's what they printed on the knife let's just hope for that these they get all the money for 243 dollars and here you go, a little bit of information. If I've got like just the specs, you can pause and read. It's not as big a knife as a lot of knives that I review. 3.15 inch blade, you know, not quite eight inches overall, but it's M390 in carbon fiber, titanium. So you got carbon fiber on the blade, which is M390, seamlessly done. I might add. There's your stop. It's a titanium frame lock. Got a tritium insert in the pocket clip. Yeah, it looks like they used pretty much all they could use on the length of the blade. There's what the backspacer looks like. So basically they've milled these two slabs of titanium and uh, pocketed them. And I haven't taken this one apart and I don't have a picture of it uh, disassembled. Let's, let's kick the light on, see what we got. So we know we haven't really weight relieved it on the inside, although we've, you know, we've had to go and, and do a lot of milling here and pull this area out so that we could inlay, see where the carbon fiber is. So we've had to pull a lot there. But obviously, you know, they left the, the tops here milled down, but not all the way out here so that they could come together and look pretty seamless in that respect. Obviously, they have a pin that runs through here where this can hold on to this little lanyard that can bobble up and down, whether that's cool or not. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I think I could miss that. I think it would have been better had they, well, maybe left it off altogether. Uh, I'm not a big lanyard guy, but maybe they just did that because, hey, some people might want a lanyard uh capability i guess you could take the knife apart and take this off if you wanted then you've got this kind of opening here where all the rest of this is seamless so either way i'm leaving it there it's not that big a deal to me the blade really looks nice a lot of belly on it good size belly m390 and uh Sharp out of the pouch, reasonably sharp. Comes in a pouch, venom, Kevin John venom, armor. You know, you get a little microfiber cloth with their logo on it. Comes in the plastic, in the zipper pouch. There's no boxes. And let's uh, get this little clip here. Strap here. And you know, I have the harpoon. Kevin John Venom harpoon. Got pocket clip. Functions like that. Carbon fiber, this and that. And of course, the bone doctor. I got all these at the same time. Did a little bartering with Cirilla there. If I buy this plus this plus this, then what's the price? <laughs> hey, can't avoid them. Can't avoid bartering a little bit. So there you go. There's your blade stop.
really nice action on this knife just no blade play no lock rock no problems there if you notice of course the flipper tab is not connected to the blade it just lays down like that so there it is kind of like the lee williams kickstop situation don't know if they contacted him or if they had to have permission i don't know so i don't know the situation there but it's it's very similar to his kickstop interesting yeah catches it brings it back up so obviously you've got a locator pin coming through here for this as well lock bar insert if you didn't catch that when we looked at the inside there and check out the internals it would have been nice if they would have had a diagram of the knife disassembled i may have missed that when i looked on the site i just really like this machining this texturing on the on the scales um you get a tool with us i believe and this is uh this is the pouch actually the harpoon all three pouches look the same but i believe they give you the tool uh for that you don't need it obviously for the harpoon this thing just kicks up and you unscrew the whole pivot right there so you don't need it <clears throat> and you do for that and i i didn't look in that pouch either uh, I usually don't use the tool they give me. I just use a screwdriver. It's It works just fine. You need a very, very small screwdriver for that one, though. But I've got all sizes, so I could take that off if I wanted to. Not a very big knife. Like I said before, not as big as the other Kevin John ones that I got at the same time. Yeah, three and a quarter. 83 millimeters, something like that on the blade. Seven and seven and three quarter overall. Mm, almost 20 centimeters. Almost 20 centimeters. 0.53 of an inch thick 13.5 millimeters and blade stock is well it looks like it's going to be really close to four millimeters 0.155 come on come on back here yeah 0.157 somewhere in there yeah virtually four millimeter blade stock m390 had the harpoon uh tested and yes, it was real M390, and the HRC was close to 60. It was a 59.6, I believe, on this one. So you can look at the review of this one. I've got this actual test sheet on that video. So you've got the ability to roll up here with your finger because you don't have a flipper tab hanging down here. And you do have real good contact with whatever you're cutting because you don't have a flipper tab hanging down here. You can hang back like this. I can get all my fingers on there. I don't have much extra room, but the ergos are good on this knife. There's no real jimping up here. No obvious, you know, jimping or anything like that going on around here. Fit and finish is a world-class, just wonderful knife. Uh, carbon fiber inlaid and then all this and you can get this in different colors obviously I I don't know if you s noticed on the front page it's just a regular tie so Whew. nice grams 143 right at five ounces 
which is amazing because it's much uh, shorter than the bone doctor is. And the bone doctor's under five and definitely shorter than the harpoon. And the harpoon is under five as well. But then again, you've got this going on. Uh, and this blade, and maybe you could, oh, there you go. Kick it out either with the thumb stud or probably with the middle finger if you wanted to not use the flipper tab. I mean, you've got opening options here. But yeah, it's a little bit heavier than the other two. Uh, harpoon. And not using the flipper tabs are so easy to finger flick. Yeah, harpoon's a lot bigger, but it's lighter. Bone doctor. Both way much, way bigger than the armor. Detent on this little puppy. Mm. It's appropriate. It's it's not crazy light. It's not crazy um, strong. Uh, you know, if three is the weakest I've ever had on my channel, and probably seven is the hardest I've ever had on my channel, then I would say this is right there at like a 4.8. Somewhere right in that area. Yeah. So you can gravity flip it out. Uh, obviously, you can deploy it with your thumb, your middle finger, flipper tab. Love the design. Very seamless. Very ergo friendly. And fairly lightweight for what it is. Great looks, no doubt. Just love the Kevin John knives. Uh, ever since somebody talked me into getting the Venom 2, I got the Venom 2, and then I got the Venom Attacker, and then I got the the new concept and then I got the wing and, and on and on and then these three the bone doctor the harpoon and the armor and I'll tell you what some of the nicest knives I've ever had in my hands just and I really like the design of these knives as well maybe the armor is my least favorite I'd say the harpoons number one bone doctor number two then this one of the three but it's amazing that these knives are not necessarily distributed in the U.S. Although, you know, you can go through this whole deal of, you know, CKF, the from Russia with knives. Here you go. Deboia. That's the Venom 2. So if you want to know what the Venom 2 looked like, there you go. Okay. Uh, back then, and then they did update this knife to M390 later. I'm not sure if you can still get this one. You could look. And then, of course, <clears throat> I was surprised, what, a year and a half ago or so, to see that, you know, Blade HQ had the Venom, uh, the Kevin John, you know, Venom new concept on their channel. $285. Bucks. That was S35. They've upgraded that to M390 as well, as they have the wing, which is an integral knife. And then I'll give you the link to this little blurb about their understanding of uh, of the CKF connection with Kevin John and how that all started, evolved over time. And there you go. Interesting little uh, blurb about that. So check that out as well. Just a fascinating history. I know they've made clone knives in the past, and they I think they still do. 
Uh, I just really want to encourage the original designs. I think they really have uh, so much potential. Their knives are just incredible. I, I, everybody I talk to that owns one of these is just understands that these are some of the finest knives they put their hands on. There you go. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to play with my KJ knives. Because you know what we do around here. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.